Prusa came out this week with a brand new 3D printer, the Prusa MK4S. And I know several people already showing off how well this 3D printer does and how the 3D printer looks like. But what do Zach think about this 3D printer? And then you know, I don't have this 3D printer, but I'm going to give my thoughts and ideas about it right here on Zach's Reacts. Hey, Zach here, welcome to this video. Yes, I know, the Monday is a new Friday, but by the time you are watching this video, you are watching it on Friday. So maybe it is good news on the Friday. So yeah, I saw on Monday, I saw a video coming from the real Sam Prentice. He did a video about the Prusa MK4S, which was also the day that Prusa announced this brand new 3D printer in the fleet of i3. I mean, the printer is called original Prusa MK4S. So they drop i3 out of the naming of this 3D printer. I don't have this 3D printer here. So if you are watching this video in the thoughts and ideas that you are going to see the printer printing next to me, it's not going to happen because I don't have the printer. There are several content creators on YouTube, but also some other social media platforms where they show off what this printer is all about. I'm going to give my thoughts and ideas what I think about this brand new 3D printer. If you're new here and not subscribed, hit the subscribe. Let's dive right in. And so here it is, the original Prusa Mark IV S 3D printer. As mentioned earlier, it is not called i3, which is weird because if you think about it, the previous version, the Mark III S, was called the original Prusa i3. I stands for iteration number three, Mark III S. So this 3D printer, they are still selling it for $8.99. So if you are still interested in the old one, I will put the link in the description. So if you look at this, we have the i3 Mark III S Plus, but the other version, the Mark IV, you cannot buy anymore. You are going straight for the Mark IV S. I wonder if they are going to initially put also the plus behind it. If you are familiar with the i3 style 3D printers, you have a very nice, beautiful rigid frame, which is very iconic for this type of 3D printer. On the front side, we have a nice LCD touchscreen. This display is injected molded. I don't know what the mindset behind the injection molded plastic part is. Prusa is known for everything 3D printing within their print farms. The injected molded parts, I don't know if they are doing that in-house. I know from the YouTube channel Stranger Parts, where Scotty is doing a, a factory tour in the Prusa factory, they were also talking about the injected molded plastic parts. But the rest seems to be all 3D printed parts. Why they chose the display being injected molded i have no idea i hope in the future they stick to the 3d printed parts because it is a it is a signature of this company having a big print farm printing all parts for their 3d printers i don't know if prusa is going to switch over to more and more injected molded plastic parts we will see in the future where the parts cooling fan of this direct drive extruder was on the mark 4 now it is back on its original place where you have the Mark III and the Mark III S, where you have this big 5015 fan sitting on the front in an angle of, a, I think, 45 degree angle, blowing a lot of cool air right under the nozzle so that when the plastic layers are put down there, that it is nice and that you will get some clean prints out of it. We still have the whole assembly right here. Hot end, there is a hot end in with a very long, I, I would say long tube, okay? You don't mind? Okay, I also don't mind. Very long tube. There is, just like in the previous version, there's going to be an adapter. I don't know if you have to pay for it, yes or no, or that it comes automatically. But this one is from Bontech. It is a high flow nozzle or nozzle pack. I don't know, but it is a high flow. Meaning this printer runs a little bit faster than the previous one. Because I know that the discussion was going on, like uh, the MK4 was going to get input shaper so that the printer was going faster than the previous 3D printers of Prusa. Further, everything looks very similar. Just like on the Mark IV, the, the bearings for the Z-axis are fully encapsulated, where you had one printed part with a slot for the Mark III, Mark III S, where you had to press the bearings inside here, it is a cover that is going on top of it once the bearing is loaded right in there. So there is also here on the side underneath the controller board, there is also a near field communication thing. So if you download the Prusa app, you can connect your printer directly to your phone. And once all clicked, set up and stuff like that, your printer is going to be shown up in the Prusa app. You will be able to monitor and see what your printer is doing. How far that they are going actually with 
this type of functionality. I'm not really sure, but thinking about it, people are using more and more their phones controlling the printers, send prints over. Reality do, does do that. Bamboo Labs do, does do that. There are several other 3D printer brands doing the same type of thing. So I think that Prusa is also going to use Prusa Connect in order to send files over to the printer because you can already manage the 3D printer. So why not using that type of connection as well? I already made a video about it, how you can get a model from printables for your specific Prusa 3D printer and using Prusa Connect to send it to the 3D printer without using my own computer. It does have automatic calibration, maybe the more advanced version of the, the wizard that was already there. Always perfect first layer. So the Mark IV was advertised as having the best first layer from other people that were showing off this 3D printer online. Decent. So the Mark IV S is the best entry into the world of 3D printing. That is nice. It is a, the, the price of a assembled version is 1099 USD. You can also buy the kit version. It's like 799. It's cheaper than the Mark III S. Yeah, they are pushing more to this 3D printer than previous versions. But would you buy in Mark III S Plus when you can get a better version or a newer version? Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Which which one would you choose? You get also like with most of the 3D printers or with all Prusa 3D printers, you will get a detailed handbook guides you through every aspect of the Mark IV S. This 3D printer, as they are saying here, twice as fast as the Mark III S Plus and the among the fastest desktop 3D printers. Well, what is the print speed? The Mark IV S can print a speedboat race Banshee in 14 minutes and a Bunkers Banshee in eight minutes. So Bunkers, I think they mean like, you see, it is a Banshee. It doesn't have the perfect quality, but it is a Banshee within eight minutes. You can print one. So indeed, as they call it, Bunkers fast Banshee. So in 14 minutes, you can print a decent Banshee and it looks nice and have also some qualities. Um, so one of the things that I also saw in the video of Sam Prentice is the overhangs. And when it comes to 3D printing, the further the angle goes in the direction of the print bed, you will get more and more overhang. So it is key to have a good, decent extruder, but also very well performing parts cooling fan, because if that fails, your print is going to fail. I also mentioned the 360 parts cooling fan. I don't really know when they are mentioning 360. If I say 360, I've got a circle. It's all the way around. Well, watching this here, do you also see what I see? It's 180. But if they are claiming 360 de degrees parts cooling fan, there should be something that makes that this whole parts cooling fan is blowing 360 degrees and not 180 or a little bit more than that. So the Wi-Fi on this 3D printer is a standard thing instead of the Mark IV. I'm not really sure if the Mark IV was standard equipped with... Oh, I cannot check that anymore. <laughs> I'm not really sure if the Mark IV came standard with Wi-Fi. I think it was an optional thing, but now it is standard. Also, if you are an old-fashioned person like me, I would rather want to have my printers connected through Ethernet cable because it's faster. And I think it's also more reliable. Optional Prusa app. There are a lot of things about apps and privacy. So further down the page, there's also a thing about the 100% privacy. Some companies will see what you are doing or what you are printing. Here, Prusa is very open and clear what they do with your privacy. So this 3D printer will be actively updated. So when you will get the message or the notification, you can directly send the update to the printer. Oh no, no, huh. wait, 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 wait. Hold your horses. The update will be waiting and you need to press a button and then your printer will be automatically updated. How simple and easy is that? And if you are a really thinker and you want to update even more or upgrade this printer even more, this 3D printer has a board that is the GPIO board. You can add it to this 3D printer and then you can put some additional things to this 3D printer. So they call it the uh, GPIO hacker board. So with this board, you can add a lot of things like LED lights or some other accessories that you might find very handy for this 3D printer. So I'm looking forward to what people are going to do with this uh, GPIO hacker board on the Prusa Mark IV S. Open design, simple maintenance. Yeah, it's a basic thing from Prusa to make the printers always open and very easy to maintain. So if you're wondering how many 3D printers that they have in their print farm, over 700 3D printers running 24 seven. And I think for a bed slinger, I think that this is a very decent 3D printer. And if 
for some reason whatsoever you you don't want to have this 3d printer in a network and want to work offline that is also possible with this 3d printer designed for offline use as well just slice it in prusa slicer put it on a usb thumb drive put the usb thumb drive into your printer and then just like any other prusa 3d printer it will notice that there is a new print on the on the device and uh, it will ask you if you want to print it yes or no so that is very nice and if you want if you're thinking about it here it says the wi-fi the wi-fi module can be easily unplugged for environments that require the highest level of security so if you have any doubts about the wi-fi connectivity you can always unplug it and you can use it offline automatic calibration always perfect first layer one click printing physical and touch control so if you don't want to use the click wheel you can use the touch screen if you don't want to use the touch screen you can use the click wheel so simple as that stuck filament detection and just like mentioned offline and online operations but what do i think about the prusa mk4s well from all the videos that i've seen and also the things that i have read on twitter and here also also on the page i think that this 3d printer is going to be a, the best version of the mark IV and previous iterations like in the i3 style 3d printers i don't know why they put away the i3 in mark 4s because i believe that the mark 4 was also i3 mk4 but i cannot really look it back at this moment but it's it's okay it's it's fine everybody when seeing this 3d printer knows it is a prusa it is based on the i3 it doesn't need to carry the i3 anymore because this 3d printer is growing up the brand Prusa is making this 3D printer more mature, making also sure that everybody that is stepping into the realm of 3D printing will get a decent 3D printer, something that guides them into the realm of 3D printing. With getting amazing first layer, getting amazing 3D prints, everything step by step, giving them a handbook so that they have a decent start to start with 3D printing. I mean, like, when I started 3D printing, my first 3D printer was crap. I didn't get any decent print out of it. And then I had to buy other cheap 3D printer that kicked me into the 3D printing. So far, I didn't manage to buy my own Prusa i3 Mark III S or having money now at this moment to buy a Mark IV S because I'm going to 3D Printopia and some other events that I do want to meet other people as well. I'm making videos for you. So when I have money and I want to buy this 3D printer because I definitely want to have an original Prusa, I really want to do that and showing off the great things that this thing can do and if it is not decent I will show that as well because I don't want to keep any secrets so if you are interested in buying this 3d printer check the link in the description it's not an affiliate link because I don't have here any original bot 3d printer like mentioned so uh, feel free to check it out let me know in the comments what do you think about the Prusa Mark IV S if you made it this far in this video you are amazing if you're not subscribed, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, and uh, check out this video right over here. Come, check it out.